Hello and welcome everyone. Today's video features a preview of the Tier 9 British battleship Marlborough, which is based on a battleship project from the year 1947. It borrows design principles from both the Vanguard and the King George V. The Marlborough has been announced as the next dockyard reward ship, which will also include the Tier 6 battlecruiser HMS Repulse. HMS Marlborough, I must stress, is still a work in progress and subject to balancing changes, but this is the first time I've had the chance to play, so don't be surprised to bump into the HMS Marlborough very soon on the high seas. The main feature of this new battleship HMS Marlborough is its large amount of main battery guns consisting of 16 356mm or 14 inch guns in four four gun turrets. The ship's less than ideal armour is compensated by having very good concealment and the sheer power of our main battery, which have a very fast reload time and decent range. Now that's just a very quick synopsis, so let's take a more in-depth look at the HMS Marlborough, starting with the consumables, the build and the captain skills. So this is the build I've been using. Pretty standard UK battleship build, main armaments, damage control, aiming systems, steering gears, concealment system and main battery mod 3. It's important to realize that all the stats that we'll be going through are based on this exact build. So the Marlborough gets high explosive shells, armor piercing, and access to the depth charge airstrike, and damage control parity, and five repair parties are the only consumables. Moving quickly to the build, again, pretty standard. UK battleship setup, preventive maintenance, increase the gears, basics of survivability, adrenaline rush, emergency repair expert for that extra heal, concealment expert, and fire prevention. So let's take a closer look at the armor layout on the HMS Marlborough. As you can see, 32 millimeters of four end plating, both lower and deck. We do get additional plating here, four end armor belt under the waterline, 51 millimeters, and here under the front turret, 235 millimeters. The main belt armor, 261 millimeters. 381 here just underneath the waterline above the waterline 381 millimeters and here the casemate armor is 32 the deck armor is the same 32 millimeters and if we go here to the stern all round 32 millimeter protection both on the deck and the aft end plating Again here, additional aft end armor belt, submerged 51 millimeters, and underneath the rear turret, 235 millimeters. Superstructure gets the standard 19 millimeters, so that just leaves the turrets. Frontal plate of 330, 229, and 178 two sections of side plating. Top plate is 152 and the rear plating is 178. And let's take a quick look at the internal armor. You hear the Citadel Atwart ship is 305 millimeters and it's all relatively flat. Same here at the stern. 305 millimeters of armor. 
no sloped armour inside. Moving to the Marlboro's survivability, HMS Marlboro gets 76,800 hit points and a torpedo protection damage reduction of 23%. Now this is further reinforced by having five repair parties of course. Moving to where the fun is at, the main battery, HMS Marlboro gets 16 356mm guns in four quad mounted or quadruple turrets. These 356mm guns have a very fast reload time of 22 seconds. They can rotate 180 degrees in 43 seconds. They have a max dispersion of 250 meters at max range, which is 20.9 kilometers. Both armor piercing and high explosive shells have the exact same shell speed of 757 meters per second. So you don't have to adjust your aim while swapping out shell types. The high explosive can inflict a max damage of 5,500. They have a 24% fire chance and can penetrate 89 millimeters of armor, while the armor piercing rounds can inflict a max damage of 10,500 on piercing the enemy citadel. Secondary armament consists of 16 133 millimeter guns, eight twin mounted turrets with a reload time of 6.7 seconds. They can inflict a max damage of 1900 with an 8% fire chance. They can penetrate 22 millimeters of armor, so effective against DDs with a max firing range of 7.3 kilometers and a shell speed of 792 meters per second. Moving to the airstrike or anti-submarine warfare, the Marlboro gets three attack flights of depth charge airstrikes, two aircraft per attacking flight, four bombs in the payload, they can inflict a max damage of 3,000 and a max firing range of 12 kilometers with a reload time of 70 seconds. Moving to the AA defense, HMS Marlboro gets 20 40 millimeter guns. These are Beaufort's Mark 10 in 10 twin mounted turrets. 54 40mm Beaufort's Mark 9 and of course the secondary battery the 8 twin mounted 133mm also double up as AA guns. All combined they pump out a continuous average damage of 292 the majority of which is medium range. HMS Marlboro fires four flak explosions per salvo, each capable of a max damage of 1540, and the max firing range is six kilometers. Moving to the Marlboro's maneuverability, a max speed of 31.5 knots. This is boosted to 33.1 when mounting the Sierra Mike signal flag. Turning circle radius of 860 meters with a rudder shift time of 13.4 seconds. Finally, we come to the Marlboro's concealment rating of 53, which equates to a surface detection range by enemy ships 
at 12.1 kilometers and a detectability range by enemy aircraft at 9.7 kilometers. So this is the new dockyard ship which will probably be launched around Christmas I suspect to coincide with Christmas. The current event is the Zeven Provincian but this is going to be the next dockyard reward ship, the HMS Marlborough. So I hope you enjoyed this quick little preview of the currently in testing Tier 9 Royal Navy battleship HMS Marlborough. I think a lot of people are really looking forward to this next event where we can get our hands on two quite unique ships, the HMS Repulse and the HMS Marlborough. So I hope you enjoyed this quick preview. If you want to see some live gameplay, I stream regularly on Twitch. You can see the link here on screen. If you have any questions, feel free to come on over. I look forward to seeing you all. I'd like to thank you once again all for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more. Take a moment to check out some of my most recent videos and leave a comment below and until the next time keep sailing it like you stole it.